Yo, what's going on guys? Dark here, I'm back with another commentary, and today I'm doing a free-for-all breakdown video, and I did one of these a few months ago, like almost a year ago, honestly, and free-for-all videos were like my most popular type of videos, and people really like them, so, and uh, yeah, that's me in the middle, got Linda's helmet, got my Shinobi Heartless, finally, so I'm gonna be breaking this game down in a theater, so immediately off the start, I get um, overshield, no one really contested it, so if you spawn bottom center, just go for it, no one's really gonna like drop down really for you, by the time they drop, you already have it, and so, yeah, in this video, I'm going to be really going into detail on a lot of things, but not making it too long. I may make this a two-parter. We'll see. So, yeah, theater's kind of broken, so I'll sprint like this. So, um, this guy decides to chase me. That was a mistake on his part. He acts like I don't have radar. I was just kind of playing it off, like, right here. Like, oh, I don't I don't see him on radar, but I obviously see him. Um, so, I just get kind of lure him close to me, and I feel like that's a play a lot of people don't really do too often. Um, sometimes I kind of play like, oh, yeah. They, you don't know I have a, or I don't know you're there, so it'll get really close to you, and I have a splinter nade, and I just throw it on his face, and he really cannot do anything. I thought I was going to kill him, but I just immediately push out and kill him. I have overshield at this point. I could go through all these nades. I could take all these nades. As you can see, my overshield will hold up from the frag and the other nade, and I kind of dodged the frag, so it didn't know, you know, damage anyway. So right here, I ended up just killing that guy, and right here, I'm in an awkward position. You don't want to be bottom center at all, really. It's kind of like awkward position like what am I doing I'm trying to nade it so um, right here I move over to P side know that he has caster and the best thing you can do when you fight caster is move forward because the you know bolts are gonna go past you right here I got cut off guard got, got like one shot in him but you know I didn't get the kill there that's gonna happen in free fall uh, on regret especially the spawns are really you know like when someone dies they'll spawn pretty close to you and right there I just spawned like right at the guy I was looking at um <clears throat> then the theater mode really like makes my aim seem off and I just get nated from somewhere I don't know <clears throat> I feel like I'm a really strong free fall player in this game especially on this map but um, I think it was like my first free fall game of the day and I actually did really well but I almost choked it in the end and I you know I could do a lot a lot of things better um a lot of times there like let me go back um hold on, let me go through all this cut off guard blah blah cut off guard blah blah okay oh, come on come on Dang, the respawn is longer than I thought. Okay, so like, oh my gosh. Come on, Halo 5. Get the kill there. Get nated. Alright, off this respawn. You guys will see what I do here. This is a good way to get like double kills in free fall. Because a lot of people just get like individual kills. So like, I immediately push in this base. I hear gunfire in this base. And look, there's a guy right there. So I'm pushing in. I see that the guy's weak. I heard he was in a gunfight. So I'm assuming, and he was kind of running away like someone was chasing him. So as soon as I clean up the kill here, as you can see, someone is chasing him. I clean up the kill, and I know, I see a nade coming in from, like, somewhere, I don't know, like, somewhere around the corner. So I, I assume that, you know, he's pushing, so I'm going to throw a nade off the ground. I don't throw directly at him because it'll fly past him. So I throw it off the ground so it'll explode right in his face. Watch this. Throw the grenade, and it's right there in his mouth. Like, it's going to hit him. Made him one shot. Got the kill. It was an easy kill double, or easy double kill right there. And I immediately go for this BR. And the BR is such a really good, it's a really good weapon. It's a lot better than the pistol. So I should have known that a guy would spawn here a little bit, you know, quicker. I didn't know he was going to be like that quick on the spawn. I thought I had like a, a pulse grenade. He gets a lucky melee on me. I try getting the stick because I know at this point I'm probably going to die. Throw another sticky grenade. And I need to lead it a little bit more. But this guy is just chasing after me hard. I get like the nade throw of my life. I bank it off. It should hurt him. It hurts him. I actually, I think I almost trade on him right here, but I die. Let me fast forward through that. Jeez, the respawns feel like they're super long. So I immediately, when you hear fighting, go to it in free for all. Like every single time. I heard that guy, our P side, five shot him. And I'm just kind of controlling P-Tower right now. Caught a guy on the bridge by himself. I'm going to jump out and challenge that. He's one shot. And I could, you know, sense that I was feeling pressure behind me. And when you when you know that you're about to die, just go for that trade or go for that kill. Like, if you're, regardless if you're one shot or not, like, go for the person you're pursuing. Because you're not going to fight two people at once. Or you're not necessarily going to get away, especially in free fall. This guy's just locking down the car side. Right here, I should have been more, you know, anticipated for it. And I saw that a guy was spawning, so I kind of just back up for a second and engage in this gunfight and kind of leave the fight I was in. This guy is behind me. He was he kept chasing me. I don't know why. Right, I throw a grenade. I maybe I should have shot, but I thought this guy behind me was still chasing. So I just threw a grenade as a last resort effort. And right here, I'm playing this really smart. I crouch and made him think that I you know ran away. And people may say, "Oh, you're new for doing that. You're you're a newbie player." And it's really it's a really good play. Like 
You can't just sit there walking around everywhere, especially when you can get to jump off the spawners. Um, so right here, I see OS is up again. I immediately soar for it. No one else went for it. I push this guy. That's one kill right there. And I just get lucky. Another guy drops down. This guy is kind of crazy for challenging me. I ran out of ammo. That would have been my triple. I probably could have got it over and turned to the right, but um, it was kind of unfortunate. I still think I pick up the kill on this guy here. I thought that guy was beside me for a second, so I'm just trying to put tenor, uh, pressure on top center. I get some help from the guy by the window. And right here in a situation like this, I just tried shooting like whoever. I thought that guy was weaker than the other guy, um, but you know, just always go for the weakest person, obviously. So in this game, you guys notice I'm not really like locking down a side. I'm kind of just like rotating with the flow of the map. Um, I think when the game first came out, I kind of just sat on one side or locked down a certain side. But um, sometimes I kind of find it more efficient to like just walk around the map or kind of like get out of the spawns because if you just sit in one place, I notice that a lot of players um, will simply just keep like going for you. It's really annoying if you fall. People will just sprint after you. So um, you know, it, like you'll eventually have like two or three people converging on your location or nading your location. Um, I feel pretty confident in my pistol shot now. I feel really confident in my shot in Halo 5 now. Um, so, you know, I'm, I challenge a lot of 1v1s immediately, <laughs> I think, in this gameplay. And it's, in future gameplays, I do that. Like, see right here, I just initiate a lot more one-on-ones, which I think I needed to do. So right here, I throw a grenade. I thought I got the kill, but I saw the nade came from red base, so I immediately turned my attention there, challenge him, get a perfect. And I'm kind of anticipating someone may spawn red here, so I'm trying to get top center. He has a noob combo, but he fell bottom center, so he's not really too much of a threat to me. He immediately looks away from me. He acts like I'm not even going to challenge him ever again, but um, I just waited till someone else shot him and challenged him. Right there, I thought I would get the kill. Right here, I keep looking, and, you know, whenever the one shot's there, I mean, I don't think it's too bad to chase someone. I don't think it's really that bad of a play, because free for all, you should just really be looking the one-on-one -on -one exchange, like, one kill from one death pretty much every single time um you shouldn't really be looking to get double kills or something like that or to stay alive really just try getting that one kill before you die that's really been my motto at least for free for all ever since like halo 3 so like if you go a uh, life without like even getting a kill it's kind of bad for my or in my opinion that's why I like um a lot of good free fall players just try shutting down the top player and like preventing them from getting kills and getting you know frustrating them so right here, everyone's fighting on the other side of the map. So I sit here for a second, just wait for the spawners. So I saw like two or three people die, and one guy spawned under the base. Throw a nade a little bit too far right there. I'm just in such an awkward position nading myself. And like, it's not really the best position to have a BR out there. And I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing right here. Um, some guy behind me just, just melted me. So that was a clear example of right there how I could be more aware of my environment. And, you know, definitely, um, you know, have my AR out more. Sometimes I need to have my AR assault rifle out people say it's such a newbie thing to do but in halo 5 dude and any halo actually halo 3 it's good to have your assault rifle out when it's close range the assault rifle is obviously not a long range weapon even though i see people in halo 5 using it from like a br range but right here like this guy made a mistake of having a pistol out at close range and just seeing the ar melt them there's really not much you could do um so right here i'm just kind of you know waiting for spawners anticipating the car fights and a lot of like free for just listening to you know shots getting fired and in this game I have my Apple headphones in so um, you don't necessarily need the Astros you can honestly use your TV if you're really good at listening and just hear gunfire you may not be able to hear like footsteps as well but if you hear the gunfire and like where you know most people are fighting at and you can just kind of rotate over and clean up kills so in this gameplay right here I'm down by one I'm really like I'm kind of getting nervous at this point to be honest with you because I just hate losing a free-for-all um, especially close games I know I could have won so I'm pretty focused right now and just looking for kills as fast as I can. I'm really not trying to lock down and just wait, wait somewhere so this guy can catch up and beat me. So I see this guy having a gunfight here. I pick up one kill, and I notice that this guy's like the top, you know, top player. So I immediately put pressure on him. And do I get the kill here? See, my problem is I go into gunfight sometimes, just not knowing how much ammo I have, and I end up reloading in the middle and losing fights. That's really annoying. And that's something I need to work on. And you know, that's something I think everyone needs to like take notice in, like. Check how much ammo you guys have before going in a fight. It's right here. Just walking down blue. I checked blue because, you know, people could spawn there. You know, I see you got a top car. Should get the kill here, honestly. My shot. Whoa, my shot was trash right there. I don't know what I was doing. Alright, people are having fights there. I immediately know that they're having fights on car. I immediately push car. 
like I said before, it's all about having the fights, you know, just pushing the gunfights. And I think in a second here, I reap the benefits of um, pick uh, cleaning up kills. So right here, I don't know. I think I should just push blue car right here off the start instead of wasting my time at red. I think, yeah, I immediately do. And look, this is what happens when you guys push and listen to, you know, people fighting. Get a double. Don't know why I threw a nade there, but end up dusting into it. Some guy shoots me in the back. Ah, 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 ah. Boom. Get the overkill right there. And that was a pretty good, you know, overkill right there. I was pretty confident right there. Like, that won me the game. Put me up three kills in the later part of the game. Um... But right here, I feel like I go on like a death streak. This is an unfortunate death streak. Like right here, I was anticipating the guy to spawn there. I should have maybe ran away, but you know, he cleaned up the kill on me. I feel like, man, my shot was so weird this game. Like, it was really good, but I said it was like off sometimes. But it's like my first game, so I'm not right too mad. Man, free theater mode is so bad now. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I heard like ever since the update, they really ruined it. Or like they really messed it up or something like that. I don't know what happened. So, man, right here, like like I said before in previous commentaries, wrapping up the end of the game is, in my opinion, the hardest part about Free For All. Like, this is in no way, like, like I think it's just so difficult, in my opinion. Like, I don't think, I think the first, like, 20 kills is the easiest part of Free For All. It lasts five for me. Sometimes it kind of gets frustrating because it seems like it seems like people are just going for me and they don't want me to win the game or they try shutting me down or I'm just too anxious to... Um, end the game. So right here, I'm just kind of like scouting for kills, like listening to the sounds. I should have been pushing card two here. I don't know why I'm nading top center like that. Like most times when you need top center like that, you're not going to get the kill because there's so much cover there and so much room for them to run. So I'm soaring over to red here, gunfights. Like right here, I don't know why I'm nading up there. I should just be pushing P because I hear people P, but I'm just kind of wasting my own time right now and letting this guy, the Ouija guy, catch up to me. So, um, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm just kind of walking around. I should know that there was a guy spawning bottom red. I should have been way more aware of the spawns. Um, but I haven't played Halo 5 in like a month at this point. So, um, you know, I'm not really too mad at myself. But now I know better in the future. Should know this guy sitting around a corner. I mean, still almost. Oh, my gosh. I rape him. Oh, my. I almost still almost beat him. One more bullet probably would have killed him. Um, but, yeah. I see right here, I'm just too anxious to end the game. Just not playing smart at all. Just, I don't know why we're on this guy. But I'm just too anxious to end the game. I really just want to get it over with, to be honest. I try rushing it too much. So right here, I should be... Honestly, I should have pursued that guy bottom center. But I think I pick up the kill right here. Get a perfect on him. Next kill wins. I think this guy ends up tying at the last minute, though. <laughs> yep, sudden death. He got a perfect, a perfect trade. Now, all he has to do... So by this point, I don't get a kill. Right here, why'd I draw it, man? I should've stayed in the base, but see, at this point, I just wanted to end it, and I just rushed him, so. What'd I go that game? 25 and 17. Not a bad game. I could've definitely done a lot better. I could've won like 25 and 10 if I didn't push out so much in the end, but hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed these free-for-all videos. Um, they seem like the most popular thing on my channel, so I'm glad to bring you guys more like, free-for-all videos. I'm glad to be like a free-for-all YouTuber. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm glad to just do a lot more free-for-all videos for you guys. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.